All right. Hello, hello, hello to all of the Tauruses out there. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for your general reading for the month of March. Oh, your cards are just flipping over. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, feel free to check out your moon, Venus, and your rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. For a personal private reading, the link will be posted in the description box below this video. Taurus, what the heck is going on with you? Woo. Oh my goodness. This is some dark energy. Okay, so I feel like right now, some of you, some of you are patiently waiting for clarity pertaining to a player, okay? You could be waiting to find out if this person is a player, if they're dealing with someone else, um, but you feel like this person is wearing a mask, okay? You, and you're, you're waiting, you're patiently waiting and you're watching, you're waiting and watching to see what, what happens with this person. In the past, I feel like there was a tower moment. There was some arguing, fussing, fighting, um, bickering back and forth. Some of you left this person out in the cold because you found out that they were being sneaky and deceptive, creeping off to see someone else. Okay? So you may have put something to an end. Okay, right now you're feeling overwhelmed, feeling like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulder. Some of you may have lived with this person and you share some type of financial responsibilities. And this situation has caused you to have to work extra hard. Okay, you may have children with this person. Let me know in the comment section. But some of you have children with this person. Um, and I feel like you're just feeling overwhelmed right now because... You had to walk away or this person walked away from you with the world card here. There's definitely emotional distance here. Okay, so you two definitely are living in two different homes, two different cities, two different states. Could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or a Leo involved. Virgo's energy is here as well. You're taking time out to heal. Okay, you're taking time out to heal and I still see you in search of clarity. You're still looking for some type of clarity. Some of you are wondering how and why did this happen? This is not a situation of a how or a why. You know, sometimes people do what they do. It doesn't have anything to do with you. This is all on your person. And so it's not your fault. But some of you are questioning yourselves, asking yourselves, like, how didn't, how, um, why didn't you see this? How is it that you missed this? Or how is it that you missed that? You know? And it's okay. But I feel like, um, again, so you're seeking clarity at this time. You are also trying to figure out how to balance your finances at this time. Because you have to give to multiple people. You may be taking care of other people. Um, some of you are requesting child support. I'm I, For some of you, I don't know why I'm getting someone here is requesting child support. Or you're waiting for your, some money to come in, but it seems like it's taking a long time. If this is re pertaining to your relationship, you're waiting for balance in this relationship with this same person. But it seems like it's taking a long time for this person to change. Because I see throughout this reading, you're, you're waiting. I see you waiting. And I feel like... Um, you are wanting to move things forward. You're wanting to, with the Emperor's card, be in control of the situation and take responsibility for your actions. Okay, that's where you're at now. You want to take you want to take responsibility for your actions because in the near future, I see you wanting to move forward or wanting to move on from this. You don't want you don't want to be stagnant. You don't want this stagnant energy. Some of you could be dealing with your opposite sign. I think your opposite sign is Scorpio. So you you could be dealing you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You fear getting back into this union because of a heartbreak. You don't want to feel heartbroken. You don't want to argue. You don't want to fuss and fight. You don't want to be at odds with your person. Okay. I do see feel like there's an age gap here. Okay. You don't want to be spying on this person. 
or feeling like they're doing something behind your back because it's going to cause you to feel anxious and paranoid. It's going to cause you to feel alone. It's going to cause you to be alone, okay? Cause you to feel like you need clarity. You're going to be in prayer a lot, like praying about this person, praying for clarity, asking the universe, asking God what this person is doing. You don't want to feel like that. And I see that that's where things are going. You being stressed out, overthinking, and placing yourself inside some mental prison if you go back to this person. Because some of you are going back to this person. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to let them back in. After, um, after blocking them, you're going to open up and let them back in. Some of you are going back to this person. Yeah, you're going to, here it is right here, a new beginning in love with this same person. It's like you've been up at night, you've been thinking about this, and you're deciding on going back, giving this, not, this person another chance could be a Capricorn. Although you know that this situation is toxic, you know that this person is a manipulator, they have addictions, they overindulge in things, some of you are giving this person another chance. Yeah, because there's a conversation that's going to take place that's going to lead to you and this person being able to overcome the obstacles that keep you two apart. But this person is still not a good candidate for you. I'm just going to say that. I don't see this person being good enough for you. And remember, energies could be vice versa. I'm sorry. Yeah, say you have a seven of pentacles in a reverse. Some of you are going back to this person. You're going, here it is again, the judgment card. You're going to give them a second chance, okay? But I feel like with this five of cups, you're going to give this person a second chance, but you're going to regret giving them a second chance. Yeah, I feel like you're, um, I feel like you're taking a risk. You're making a rash decision, okay? And I feel like you may need to um, hold back. It's like you want some type of victory here. Sometimes people don't like failure. So so don't so that you don't feel like a failure, you'll take this person back to um you'll take this person back to so you don't feel like a failure. Like you'll accept it so you don't feel like a failure. That's what I'm getting. All right? Although you know that this person is self-absorbed. Okay, they think about themselves. This person can have, have an addiction to um, alcohol, too. I'm seeing that as well. But your wish is that you and this person can get back on the same page, see eye to eye, um, be able to give have reciprocity, okay? And I feel like this is what you're offering to this person, but they may not be accepting it. Remember, the energies could be vice versa. So this could be you or your person. Apply the energy as if it's to your story. But I don't, I don't, I still don't see this working out. I feel like this person is going to come back in and, you know, they're going to be good for a little while. And then they're going to go back to their same old self. This player energy being toxic, having addictions and, um... Yeah, see, a mask. The cards don't lie. This person is going to come in wearing a mask, pretending that they got themselves together, but they didn't. Yeah, this person is self-exhort. They like to do things their way. They only see, um, they only see things from their point of view, something like that. Yeah, they may reach out to you to let you know that they're thinking about you. They miss you. They may even tell you that they love you. This is definitely a soulmate for you. I feel like this person has come into your life to teach you a lesson. A lesson. And with the seduction card, I do feel like this person, you're really attracted to this person. And they have the um, capabilities to tempt you into doing other things. Not going to get into details, but yeah, you know what I mean. They'll come back in and then they'll self-sabotage the relationship all over again. But I do feel like this person is coming in. They're going to be persistent to work this out. But I don't feel like it's going to last. I feel like, especially at the bottom of the deck, it's going to lead back to a separation. It's here twice. All right. So I'm going to leave it at that, Tarsus. This is your reading for 
March, your general reading, comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Peace.